Royale, I figured I'd give you a, one last video before I uh, head off to boot camp. Um, I do have some video from the snowmobile, but uh, it didn't end up turning out as well as I had hoped. Uh, just some footage of me and my girlfriend out on Pewaukee Lake. If you re if y'all want it, leave a comment. Um, I, I haven't deleted it yet, but um, I just don't necessarily want to post all of it because it's not that great. But anyways. Here's my pumpkin. <laughs> it's my Alice Chalmers 920 diesel. Supposedly, some people call them rare. I don't think they're that rare. But it's, uh, you just don't see any Alice's. Uh, this is uh, pretty much all original. Original tires, deck. I mean, heck, it might even have the original belts because this thing doesn't, doesn't have that many hours on it. Got 938 hours on it. And uh, it was serial number 1305. So it was the 1305th built. So it's not uh, not super high up there in production numbers, but it's definitely not not the lowest. So I'm assuming it's probably a 85, 86 tractor. But uh, this is what it is. Up here under the hood, with your hydraulic lift. See the, the secret, the diesel, diesel fuel. It's because under here is, well, the original Lombardini made in Italia. <laughs> made in Italy. I made that mistake. Made in Italy. You can't really see it. It's up in there. So it's the uh, Lombardini uh, 10D104. 10LD402. That's what it is. My bad. Uh, but, uh, Pretty much all original under here. We just had to get uh, we had to get new injection lines made up, and we had the injection pump rebuilt because it was uh, supposedly leaking fuel. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the beast in all its glory. 18 and a half horse horses, more than enough horse torques for uh, a little 48 inch mower deck like this, or a little 38 inch blower like what I got in there. Uh, full size car battery because you know. You ain't starting this little pig with uh, your little 300 CCA average, you know, John Deere D125 battery. This is uh, this is full on uh, big as she goes. But uh, yeah, it's 18 and a half horsepower. I don't know how much torque, but it's it's more than enough. You're not gonna you're not gonna bog this thing out. You'll get all sorts of fun in the smoke show before you will even remotely do that because I've gotten this thing to, to smoke show. It's pretty fun. But uh, let me pop the pop the fender deck here. It's the interesting things about these old Simplicity Alice tractors is the, the, fend the fender pan comes up and the hood comes up so you can get under here real easy. Real interesting how it works. It's the, the engine with a straight shaft to a 90 degree gearbox here, bevel gearbox. That side drives the uh, PTO hydraulics and then this side's all for just the clutch for the deck. Just a uh, little drop that in there and there's some clutch material there. Kind of grabs. Kind of. But yeah. So I'll leave a for all, for all you guys who care, I'll do a little family history. For those who don't, I'll throw it in the description of timestamps so you can just skip ahead to listen to this thing sing. But uh Backstory that I understand is my father bought this, unbeknownst to my mother, <laughs> came home with it one day and she was like, "What are you doing?" And well, it was ours, so we were using that. Yeah, we we used this thing around here. I guess it was at my family business for a while uh, in Milwaukee. Actually, that was when it was in Muskego, but because um, it's got a 38-inch blower along with this 48-inch cutter and. Uh, there's some stories about that, but uh, the uh, the story is that my father my father bought it. I don't know if it was missing the hubcap then, but it still is, and that's kind of annoying. But um, my father bought it, brought it home. My mom was like, "What are we gonna do with this?" My said my dad said, "We're gonna mow with it," and I guess it kind of stuck today. Um, from there, it just kind of ended up getting used here because my mom bought this place in '83, uh, so uh, we've had this this stack of land for a while. And you can see I got my 420 hiding around the corner over there. 
that thing's got almost uh, 1,650 hours on it now, um, just from cutting this thing, because it's only got the 50-inch uh, deck instead of the 60, but uh, no matter. It still, uh, it still runs, and, runs and breathes. Put new tires on it last week, actually. Anyways, it's about this orange pumpkin. Um, great little tractor. Um, story is my my uh, father bought it. Ended up staying around here for a while, and uh, got used up until when uh, my father uh, father started getting sick and started started uh, um, having health problems. That was back when I was uh, seven, six years old. Actually, be before then. So this thing kind of ended up getting parked because this thing's got manual steering. It's only got the 48-inch cutter and then the 38-inch blower. Where the 420 over there, that thing's got a 48-inch blower, two-stage. Uh, it's got a cab and it's got obviously it's got hydraulic steering. So uh, that was the favorite tractor just because in in the in the eyes of my mother it was obviously much more easy to operate compared to this thing, which is belt drive, manual steering, and it's just clunky because it's a diesel. But um, it always sat in the back corner of this here barn when I was a kid. I never think I heard the thing run. But uh, eventually, when my father ended up passing away, my uh, I understand the story was that my my oldest brother came and he uh, he took it up north because um, Eric, if you're watching this, don't mind me. But the story that I heard is is uh, it went like. You know, Dad said I could have this, so my brother took it up north. And I got took up there, and he got mowed with twice. The injection pump was leaking fuel, like I said. And uh, and ended up getting parked for the past 11 years. I've been beg bugging him about it for about the past 11 years uh, to get it back down here, and he finally gave in. About, oh, over, oh, it was over Christmas time this year. But, uh, he, uh, so last Monday we went, we loaded it up, brought it back here. Put the injection pump back in it, and uh, here it is today. After I buffed her up, so it's a little shiny. Still got some gouges in her, you know, from the from the blower with the hood open, and it's all scratched up. The uh, cap's broken off there. The uh, corner of this deck is pushed in a little bit. I understand that's from my brother, go my middle brother, going through the ditches. He bent that up pretty good, but uh, you know, it still it still all lives. Um, and now I'm going off to boot camp, so I'll be able to see this thing for another week and a half before uh, I probably won't see it until I'm dang near, well, probably till I just about get out and I need a tractor because they're not going to need the 420 and the 920. Um, so I'll probably end up with this one just because I'm obviously for like the same reasons as before. But... You know, I, like I said, I like the I like the pumpkins. I like the uh, Alice Chalmers stuff. My uh, my father ran a uh, my father runs a bus company, or he did, and then uh, his father ran an international harvester dealership back in the 70s, 80s. So I don't know where he got his orange from, but you know, I don't mind it. I really I really like the color. Anyways, enough blabbering. That's been on for two minutes now. Um, I'll. Uh, show you guys what you all want to see, which is this old Lombardini sing to life again. My brother was a uh, mechanic for, um, he was a diesel mechanic, so he got all this funny stuff. I just find that ironic. But, there it is. Place to life real nice and smooth. They don't call them rattle traps for nothing. They shake around pretty darn good in there. This thing's got custom motor mounts so that it doesn't uh, doesn't even too bad, but luckily you can see this one doesn't hardly smoke at all. Uh, but yeah.
Yeah. Show you what it is, drive it around a little bit. And uh see how it goes. Well, you can see I almost rolled it in the ditch a little bit there, but that's what it is. And all it's, uh, all it's going, knocking around. enjoyed the video and uh i'll catch you in a couple years y'all have a good one